and AIDS, it is a very sinister form of acquired immunodeficiency is caused by the human immunodeficiency virus. This HIV mm, is the, the virus that can infect the human cells and uh, uh, weakens our the immune system. The disease is caused by the HIV and it is known as the acquired immunodeficiency syndrome called AIDS. And this is in the structure of the HIV virus. It is a retrovirus and have a RNA genome and also possesses the property of the reverse transcriptase. And after the infection by the retrovirus, its genomic RNA enters the infected cells and, uh, and thus the property of the reverse transcriptase uh, also enter in the infected cells. And the reverse transcriptase prepared a DNA copy of the viral genome and this copy is then incorporated in the DNA of the infected cells and the viral genome became a part of the host cell genome now. Here is the structure of the HIV virus. The structure is very similar to that of the retrovirus and its core is made up of two copies of its RNA genome and the sum of the enzymes and the genomic RNA and the enzymes are surrounded by a conical um, capsids and the capsid is made up of the core proteins such as P24, P7 and P6 and the capsid is surrounded by the spherical envelope and the envelope is made up of the lipid bilayer and some of the other proteins. The envelope is formed when the virus bud out of an infected cell and the virus take a part of the host uh, cell membrane within it. And the envelope contains two viral glycoproteins such as the GP120 and the GP41. GP41 is embedded in the lipid bilayer whereas the GP120 is attached to the GP41 by non-covalent interaction. Here the structure of this retrovirus HIV having the GP proteins, protease, these are the enzymes needed by the viruses we contain the machinery, reverse transcriptase, we having the lipid bilayer uh, structure and integrase for the integration of the gene, genomic DNA, uh, genomic RNA, this is the, having the RNA part, uh, having the other proteins such as P17, P24, P7 and the P6. And the genome of the HIV is made up of the, about 9749 nucleotides and the three genes mm, such as envelope, uh, gag and pulse are common to all the retroviruses. There are six accessory genes unique to the HIV only and these are the uh, TAT, REV, NAV, WIF, and VPU and the uh, VPR genes and the 15 proteins are synthesized from these 9 genes. These uh, the GAG uh, protein, protein uh, from the GAG the gene uh, the P17, P24 and P7 are generated and the pol result in the P11 protease P66 reverse transcriptase and the P32 to the integrase with VPR and the other proteins. The, uh, this EN envelope uh, gene result in the GP120 and the GP41 um, proteins. And the name of the envelope uh, gene is derived from the envelope. Uh, ENV is in ENV gene from the envelope. And in course of poly polyprotein of GP160 after translation GP160 is then cleaved out by the proteases and forms the uh, cleavage of the GP120 and the GP41. The GAG gene is named after the uh, group specific antigen and it encodes the core protein of the virus and it is translated into poly proteins. The polyprotein encoded by the GAG gene is cleaved into the 
P24, P17, P7 and the P6. P17 forms that the inner lining of the lipid bilayer. Uh, this forms the uh, P17 forms the inner lining of the lipid bilayer, and the other proteins are present in the capsid. The name of the Pol gene is derived from the polymerase, and it encodes the viral enzyme. It is translated into the polyproteins and the polyprotein imported by the Paul gene is cleaved into the reverse transcriptase, integrase and the protease. Reverse transcriptase possesses the ribonuclease H activity also. Whereas the HIV infection and the immunodeficiency. HIV is present in infected person and, and from the some kind of um, Blood, signaling, blood cells and the genital secretion it is present in the infected person and it can be transmitted uh, through these sources such as blood transfusions and from the sexual context. Infect and uh, an infected person can transmit the virus to the other person also. And HIV can be transmitted from the infected person to an un un uninfected person through the sexual contact from the vagina or the anal, uh, the transfusion of the infected blood, sharing of the contaminated needles, um, and the mother to the fetus uh, transmission in the pregnancy is also possible. The molecules uh, exposed on the surface of HIV is the GP120, and this happens to have a structure complementary to that of the CD4. Due to this complementary, uh, GP120 binds evidently to the CD4 and CD4 molecules are present on the surface of the helper T-cells. Here we can see the HIV and the helper T-cells. These helper T the GP120 is present and the T-cell receptor. And the GP120 of the uh, HIV binds evidently to the CD4 of the helper T-cells. And the lipid bilayer, bilayer surrounding the HIV fuses with the cell membrane of the helper T cell. The virus side is enveloped and its core enters the helper T cells. The viral, the viral reverse transcriptase synthesizes a complementary DNA strand. This cDNA RNA hybrid is the form. The, uh, the ribonuclease H activity of the enzyme hydrolyzes the genomic RNA, which is, removes the genomic RNA and the single DNA strand then act as a template and this uh, result in the second complementary DNA strand is synthesized from this single uh, RNA template, uh, single DNA strand template. Thus, it double-stranded DNA is formed. This is the DNA copy of the viral gene. This is incorporated in the host cell's DNA by the viral integrins. Thus, the viral genome became a prominent part of the host, host DNA. After that, the viral genome is incorporated into the host cell genome. It is called the proviral DNA. This proviral DNA is transcribed by the messenger when transcribed to the messenger RNA by the host cells and this mRNA is translated to, to form the viral polyproteins and these are cleaved by the proteases. The mRNA and the viral enzymes are surrounded by the core proteins. The core is surrounded by the P17 and the envelope protein to form a new virus. The virus word out of the cell, thus a new virus is released by the infected cells. Here the representation using the diagram that the genomic DNA, the genomic RNA is present in the HIV and the reverse transcriptase is also present at the GP120 are the uh, external envelope proteins. After they have been, uh, the only the uh, this genomic RNA part and the reverse transcriptase part enter inside the helper T cells where they uh, start to synthesizing the, um, this uh, DNA 
from the, this RNA template by using the cDNA form from the using the enzyme the reverse transcript is after that the different and uh, after after that this the DNA is synthesized as then this forms the this forms the other proteins or the RNA uh, other proteins that is needed and and then this is uh, again packaged inside the, this uh, RNA uh, packaged inside this RNA form and the virus is made and this is released out for infecting the other nearby cells the new virus infected another infected helper T cell and this cycle is repeated and the newly virus particles are formed and released out the more and more helper T cells are infected out and this multiplication of HIV inside helper T cell lead to the rupture of these uh, cells and the viral proteins are cleaved inside the infected helper T cells and these helper peptides are picked up by the MSC class first protein and of the infected cells and they are displayed on the surface of the cell. The helper T cells displayed the viral peptides are destroyed by the killer T cells. A rupture and destruction of the helper T cells result in their depletion. Massive depletion of the helper T cell results in the cripplings of the immune system. The infected person became extremely prone to the infection due to the immunodeficiency. And this is the pathway. This is the pathway how this the HIV is take place inside the uh, body. How this the process has been explained inside how this this uh, infecting the helper T cells and weakening out the immune system. And thank you so much.